It's a plane designed for air interception and tactical escort of bomber planes. The Mikoyan 31 was designed by the Mikoyan Design Office as a replacement for the previous Mikoyan 25 interceptor. But it is based on and shares design elements with its predecessor. It has the distinction of being among the fastest fighter planes in the world. The entry of the Mikoyan 31 into the Soviet Air Force inventory would represent a radical change in air defense especially in the Far East, where stealth flights of the American Strategic Reconnaissance 71 spy planes were frequent. It continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force and the Kazakhstan Air Force. And the Russian Ministry of Defense expects the Mikoyan 31 to remain in service until 2030 or even longer. Welcome to a new video. This is the Aeropedia of Aviation World. When a replacement was sought for the Mikoyan Gubrevich Mi-35, which lacked maneuverability at speed, interception, and was difficult to pilot at low altitude, an aircraft with better flight performance was sought, not so specific for high-speed missions, and could successfully combat other Western fighters. In the 60s, the Soviet Union would determine that it did not have effective anti-aircraft defense devices in the Arctic areas, where bombers like the B-52 Stratofortress or the new high-speed American Lockheed S-71R spy planes could enter. In 1968, the green light was given for the development of this new aircraft, whose prototype would be called J1551000, based on the design of the previous 1000 Ikoyan 25. September 16, 1976. The first prototype J155 makes its first test flight. The production of the first eight specimens destined for aerodynamic, structural fatigue, engines and performance flights began in the Gorky factory a year later. In the early 80s, the flight tests ended successfully, and the first deliveries of the series production aircraft began, and they began to replace the older interceptors. The 228 had better flight performance, power, climb speed, maneuverability, maximum speed, range and better cockpit visibility than the previous Mi-25. It also had better performance in shorter takeoffs and landings, better flight performance at low and medium altitude. New engines with afterburning are more powerful, safer and efficient. In September of 1983, the first four copies of the Mikoyan 31 were dispatched and simulated interceptions of a strategic reconnaissance 71 Black Bear spy plane were carried out in international airspace from various high altitude approach angles. Supersonic speed using their new Saslom S-800 radars, whose maximum range against targets the size of a fighter is approximately 200 kilometers and can track up to 10 targets and simultaneously attack four of them with their Bimple R-33 missiles. According to the Soviets, they would have surely shot down the Strategic Reconnaissance 71, something they had not been able to do until now. This caused the Americans to change tactics and become more cautious with spy flights. It was a twin-engine, two-seater design with high wings and double vertical tail or rudder to achieve greater stability at high speeds and altitudes. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 46 tons and had a range of 720 km at maximum speed and 1450 km at subsonic flight. Its maximum speed was 3000 km per hour or Mach 2, 
and it had eight attachment points for carrying combinations of air-to-air -air missiles. The wings and fuselage of the Mikoyan 31 are stronger than those of the Mikoyan 25, allowing for supersonic flight at low altitude, just like the Mikoyan 25. Its flight surfaces are primarily constructed of nickel alloy zero, allowing the aircraft to tolerate kinetic heating at speeds approaching Mach 3. Its D-30 F-6 jet engines, each with a power of 152 kN. They allow a maximum speed of Mach 1.23 at low altitude and at high altitude, reaching up to Mach 3. They are the largest installed in a fighter plane. And to give you an idea of the size, the D-30 is the engine that equips the Illusion Il-76 cargo plane, without afterburner, of course. The crew member, offensive system and radar operator sitting behind the pilot in tandem, also has an electronic flight control joystick for piloting the plane. He can land this aircraft with a periscope that rises above the rear cockpit with a special mirror. Is it capable of withstanding a maximum of 5G at supersonic speeds but it is not designed for close combat and tight turns? Close air combat maneuvers, dogfight type against other fighter planes is not its main function, it is designed for the distant interception of aerial targets. Its specialty is flying at supersonic speeds and high altitudes. It can also perform tactical escort missions for long-range bomber planes, such as the Tu-160 strategic bombers and the Tu-22-1000 naval bombers. By the mid-90s, about 519 units had been produced, of which 320 are still in operational service today in Russia. Kazakhstan is the only foreign operator of this aircraft. That being a very specialized aircraft for long-range interception and supersonic speeds, it was not successfully sold to other markets. In, In 1990, the new improved and updated version appeared, called 1000 Dikoyan. 31 which can use a global positioning system navigation system and a digitally controlled fly-by-wire system. Fly-by-wire with data link system and navigation assistance by Global Navigation Satellite System Russia's satellites. And it can continue flying until beyond the year 2030. In March of 2018, Russia successfully conducted a test launch of the high-precision hypersonic Kinza missile from a Mikoyan-31. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, a new upgrade of the Mikoyan-31 was carried out, parallel to the development of the Kinzhal air-based hypersonic missile, which constitutes the MiG-31K version. This hypersonic missile has a range of 2,000 kilometers, can carry nuclear warheads, and flies at the incredible speed of Mach-10. Other versions are the MiG-30 and the 500 capable of launching a kinetic impact anti-satellite missile. In the 2000 decade, they began to modernize the MiG-30 and 1BM versions with in-flight refueling area and a new radar that increased target detection up to 320 kilometers. Capable of tracking up to 24 targets simultaneously and attacking up to 8 at the same time, it can carry the new long-range R-37 missile with a speed of Mach 6 and a range of up to 400 kilometers. One of these versions broke the world record by spending 7 hours and 4 minutes in the air while covering a distance of 8,000 kilometers. Before we wrap up, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. And if you liked the video, use the comments to let me know. And you can also tell me what type of planes you would like to see in the next videos. The most requested aircraft models will arrive soon. Stay tuned for a new video. I'm Marcos and this is World of Aviation's Aeropedia.